Hey Dave, what's up man? Hey, so this is something that we got a comment on in one of our, our videos and the, the question was, can I use a snowblower engine like this, uh, this Airbnb's yeah. 414, 24 yeah. pounds of torque. Is there an issue with using this engine on a summer piece of equipment? And I think the question comes in line with the fact that like this, this Arians blower, it's seen better days. Everything is pretty much junk except the motor. So the motor is good. Can I use that in the summer? Is there any implication with having a winter style motor on a summer style piece of equipment, say like a log splitter or a rototiller or something like that? Okay, Dave, so the answer to that question is yes, you can use a snowblower engine on summer equipment. So there isn't any differences between a mm -hmm. engine that is meant for a winter purpose versus a summer purpose? Well, there are differences, Dave, in the engines, okay, but if you're thinking about that the engine would overheat too much, mm -hmm. the answer to that is no. So I'm going to show you some differences here on this snow engine compared to what you would see like on a summer engine. Okay. So this is a snow engine. Yep. So it has like a cover that covers the carburetor more than like a summer engine. Okay. Okay. Yep. So these are the major differences between a winter engine and a summer engine. Okay. Basically it's just the covers. Okay. Okay. So basically they put extra covers here because they don't want the snow to, to get right in the carb. Right. Um, another difference you will find with a, a winter engine compared to a summer engine is that a snow engine won't have an air filter. That's funny you say that because I have taken a few apart and I said, yeah. where the heck is the air filter on this thing? Absolutely. So you don't need an air filter on a snow engine. Makes sense. Not kicking up any dust. Exactly. So let's say you took this engine, put it on a wood splitter. Yep. Even if you couldn't find an air filter right away, you probably wouldn't really damage it because there, there's not really any dust when you use a wood splitter. Right, but that's okay. something you'd be cognizant about because it's dry and there's going to be some stuff in the you air. You still would need one. Right. Okay. But when you think about the engine, and I think the question that has come up is, will this engine overheat in the summer? That's because, really the issue they're worried about, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So basically that engine will not get any hotter in the summer. Right. than if this was a summer engine because it is cooling itself the same way right. with the fins on the flywheel right. than what a summer engine would. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. So basically, if you take a snow engine and put it on a, a piece of equipment that you will use in the summer, right. you don't need it. You don't need to worry about it overheating in the summer. Right. You just want to make sure you have an air filter installed okay. or some kind of protection. Right. Just have a quick look at the next clip coming up in the video. Okay. Okay. Yep. I'll be showing you how I put a snow engine on a wood splitter. Okay. So here's a good example, Dave, and everybody watching this log splitter here in my shop has a Briggs and Stratton snowblower engine. You can even see the snowflakes. Now this engine is designed for winter use, but it will not affect the engine if you use it in the summer. The main catch here is to make sure that you have the proper oil. So for example, if you use it in the winter on your log splitter or your snowblower, you want to make sure you use 5W30 or 5W20 or some other winter graded oil. And if you're going to use the engine in the summer on your log splitter like this one here, you want to make sure you have at least 10W30. I would recommend SAE30 oil, straight 30. It's nice and thick and it won't affect your engine at all. Now the main differences here, guys, is that the winter engine has better coverings over the carburetor. That's the main difference I found on the snow engines compared to an engine that was specifically designed to go on summer equipment. All those engines pretty well use the same block if you get the same model of engine, whether it's for summer or winter. So there's no need to worry about that. If you've got a good engine kicking around that came off a snowblower, you can use it on anything. So what do you think about that, Dave, that, that engine you just saw in the wood splitter? No, that, that looks like it works just the same as if it was yeah. you know, a summer engine, I guess. Oh yeah, it, work, it works absolutely the exact same way. It will not overheat in the summer. Okay, so one of the other questions I think that was brought up, or one of the questions yeah. that I have as well, so this is a winter engine and it lacks the air 
filter assembly. Yes. Is that a very similar engine to the summer version variant that has an air filter attached to it? So if you buy... like, I guess I guess what I'm trying to get at is, can you buy the air filter box to go here? Like, does this engine come in a couple different versions and one in which that you'd be able to buy the parts aftermarket to put an air filter assembly on it? Okay, good question, Dave. So if you run across that issue, what you want to do is check with the manufacturer. This is an LCT engine. Okay. It's the successor to the Tecumseh engines. Okay. So what you'd want to do is maybe contact the manufacturer right. and see if they have a, a similar summer engine that you could somehow attach the air filter box on. Right. Okay. Now, if they don't, you might want to find another engine mm -hmm. and just take the air filter assembly from another engine right. that will just fit on the two bolts of the car. Right. So if you really need the air filter, you would take this off. Yep. And then you might have to jimmy up some kind of air filter yourself. Right. And I mean, a lot of these engine blocks are one and the same, right? They're not Absolutely. making, they're not making a ton of different engines or not every one is no. unique. So it's quite possible that that bolt spacing for the air filter assembly would fit. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So the, the bolt spacing right here, Dave, is almost universal on a lot of engines like this. Right. Okay. So you could probably take like a, a Honda GX air filter assembly. Okay. Take this off and it might just bolt on here. Perfect. And that's just a bit of trial and error or going it to your, is. going to your local shop or, you yeah. know, if, uh, if your version of Don, the small engine doctor is in town and he's got a few Absolutely. sheds, a few, few sheds full of <laughs> extra engines, Absolutely. maybe one will fit. Absolutely. So I've done that in the past. Yep. Uh, but I think the main question from that viewer was, will the engine get too hot in the summer? Correct. And again, to, to re-emphasize that answer, the answer is no. Okay. The engine will not get too hot in the summer uh, as long as you, you run the summer oil in here. Right. I forgot to mention this earlier, earlier in the video. Yep. In the winter time, you'd be running 530 in here. Yep. Okay. Would you bump up to like a 10 maybe in the summer? Yeah, I would go 1030 yep. or a straight 30 SAE 30 oil. Okay. Uh, I would actually recommend the SAE 30 before the 1030 because it's a little thicker. A little thicker, right? A little more consistent and a synthetic yep. variant of that's probably your best bet. Uh, probably, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And, and then when it's the fall or colder seasons in your country, then you may want to switch back to the 530. Right. Like, let's say you're that log splitter. If you, if you want to use that yeah. in the winter, you'd go back to a 530. Absolutely. Perfect. So I guess one of the other questions is this fancy little primer bulb right here. Yes. Is there an issue if we're going to be running a summer versus a winter engine on a piece of summer equipment? Absolutely not, Dave. This primer... I will have to say that it does come in handy in the winter time because in the winter time it can be a little harder to start up your engine. It needs a bit more fuel to get going. Maybe like an eight to ten prime kind of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah depending. It depends on how cold it is where you live. But in the summer, yep. you can keep the primer, mm -hmm. but you don't have to use it. Oh. So okay. you might find in the in the summertime right. if you had this engine right. on a piece of summer equipment you might be fine getting it going with just turning the choke on. Uh, but again, that might be equipment specific, right? Like Absolutely. you could have two or three of these and they could all just be slightly different. Absolutely. So if you took an engine from a snowblower, put it on a piece of summer equipment, don't worry about the primer. Don't worry about it getting too hot. Like I've said, you want to make sure that you have the proper oil grade for the season that you're using that equipment. Excellent. Well, that's great. All right. So yeah. if anybody watching today has extra questions, put them below the video. We try to read all the questions and answer them. And who knows, you might even see your question answered in a future video here with Dave and I. Yeah. And that's uh, usually I have a little <laughs> bit more time than Don to answer <laughs> yeah. some of these questions because this, this guy's running a full blown shop here. So, yeah. um, you know, and, and, and most of the time, I think we're along the same lines of thinking. So, yeah, that's Absolutely. great. And again, guys, uh, don't be afraid to ask any, any question. 
that you have on your mind because if you have it on your mind somebody else has, has already thought about that yeah and we're keeping a list so as we go on we'll hopefully get to most of those questions absolutely so thanks again for watching guys and again make sure to subscribe to dave and i's channel and follow me on social media all the links are below the video and if you follow me on social media that is also where i announce contest winners when i give away stuff Sounds good. Awesome. Thanks again, guys. Thanks, guys. Take care. Have a great day.